Welcome to Buy, Hold, Sell, brought to you by Livewire Markets. My name's James Marley. I'm the founder of Livewire, and I'm joined by Steve Johnson from Forager Funds and Ben McGarry from Totus Capital. These two gentlemen are winners of the top short picker, in the case of uh, Ben McGarry, and the top long idea for Steve from our recent Buy, Hold, Sell Awards. So we've got some champion stock pickers uh, on the call at a very important time. Uh, we're looking at stocks, cash earners, or even cash burners. You want to own some, you don't want to own the others. Steve, I'm going to kick it off with you. Uh, could be a proxy for all the banks, but National Australia Bank had a rough time. Buy, hold, or sell? I'm saying sell here, James, but not because of the current, well, partly because of the current environment we're in, but our experience with overseas banks is zero interest rate environments are very bad for bank profitability. You're going to see lower net interest margins. I think we're going to see low rates for a very long period of time, and that is not going to be good for the banking sector. I don't think there are liquidity issues, though, in the current environment. Okay. Ben, buy, hold or sell on NAB. It's gone from bad to worse. I think it's a sell. I, I'm not a banks expert, but I, I think about it simplistically. They're, they're leverage players on the economy, which is going backwards, you know, faster at, at the moment. So, look, the government's stepping in with some good support there. Um, maybe from a micro bottom-up perspective, there's some uh, things to be positive about on the banks. But I think in this market, people are going to, uh, sell first and ask questions later and overseas banks in places like Europe have been a, a disaster in a zero interest rate, you know, QE type environment. So sell for us. Okay. Cochlear, it's out in the market today with a, with a massive capital raising. Buy, hold or sell? Buy. Buy the capital raising anyway. I think it's a nice discount. You've got a US dollar earning business here. Some... Short-term cash flow issues over the next six to 12 months, so that, uh, but I like the business and you're buying it at a fairly attractive price. Ben, capital raising out today, do you like it? Buy, hold or sell? We'd buy it in the raising uh, as well. It's always looked a bit expensive and had some earnings quality issues, but um, you know, I think the board has done the right thing here in, in you know, if you're gonna panic, panic early and they, they're getting a big uh, lick of cash nice and early, uh, which should see them through. So to buy for us okay ben i'm going to stay with you on this one i know it's a stock um you guys have owned zero uh cloud-based well positioned buy hold or sell we still own it so uh, I, I suppose it's a buy a uh, little bit less conviction I, I think cutting your um uh accounting software would be one of the last things you would do as, you know as a business uh, but i think we will see that you know the small business end of the market hits relatively hard and zero um, had a you know an amazingly strong um, half last half, so they're starting to cycle tougher comps. So it's a buy, but not in not in big size. So I'd start averaging in. Okay, Steve, zero is one of the few fang, uh, wax stocks, I should say, that's held up okay. Buy, hold, or sell. I'd say hold, James. I love this business and I'm still kicking myself for not owning it over the past few years and maybe look back at this as one of those chances to say, well, you've got a chance again. But it has held up reasonably well and I think that there are lots of interesting alternatives out there at the moment. Okay. Steve, we'll stay with you. I've asked you to pitch us an idea, um, something that's going to produce some sustainable cash flow through this cycle. Have you got an idea for us? Yeah, McMahon, uh, mining services player, a fairly small number here of long-term contracts on minings that are well down the cost curve and uh, you know, gold, which in Aussie dollars is very profitable at the moment, coal, um, things that I think the world is going to need. So you're paying five times earnings for a business that I think is going to grow its earnings over time and is not facing uh, the same uncertainty that other businesses are in this environment. Okay, it's one you know well. Thanks, Steve. Ben, have you got an idea? Are you going to give us something that has the cash flow to make it through the cycle or maybe something uh, that you don't think can make it? Yeah, well, I'll go for a buy this time. Um, Objective Corp, a stock we've liked, you know, for some time, um, really uh, well-managed uh, recurring income software business that sells um, database management and information management software into the government, um, a net cash balance sheet. They've been... Uh, buyers of stock, um, there's, a, there's a buyback in, in, in action. Um, I think that's incredibly well placed to survive and, and thrive and potentially uh, pick off some competition, you know, through this uh, volatility. So Objective Court we own and, and would look to add through this period. Okay, well, it's not all doom and gloom, folks. You just gotta keep an eye on those stocks that can keep earning through this cycle.